Oh, what's going on, everybody? Here, welcome back to some more Definitely Not Fried Chicken. Today, we are doing some expansions, uh, something that we talked about in the last episode here, and we're gonna start getting things hooked up. Hopefully, uh, you all are having a wonderful day. I'm having a fantastic day, can't complain. But what we're gonna have to do here, well, you know what? Let's just do this. Let's just get things set up in this area first, uh, and then we'll figure about like you figure out how to connect everything and stuff like that. So. Let's just get these rooms made up here. Now, I don't think we're going to go ahead and start by uh, <laughs> by absolutely making it these, um, like, all of these things, like, super crazy filled with stuff right now. But I think we'll go ahead and make them, like, you know, just decent. So we're going to have to do a couple things. Okay, so let's see. Let's have one on this doorway. Basically, one in the center of all of those. And then, let's see, we're going to have one here, here. Oh, I can't have one right there next to it. Ooh, should we make these corridors too wide? I mean, we have like, we literally have plenty of room to play with everything, you know? Maybe we should make the corridors too wide. Let's do that. Uh, let's see. Let's go into here. Let's grab this. Let's go into build. Let's make the corridors. Let's go into build. Um, but yeah, hopefully you're all having a wonderful day. I'm having an absolutely fantastic day. Can't complain whatsoever. It's just, you know, it's just a good day. Just another good day. And then we need to go ahead and bring our... Um, We'll figure that out, all that stuff out later, but let's just get this stuff going. Let's yeah, let's leave our corridors too wide, just so it'll, it might look a little bit better. You know what I mean? That just looks a little bit nicer. Looks a little bit more like realistic, if you will. <laughs> less like back, less back rooms action. More, uh, I don't know, sketchy <laughs> dealing factory area. <laughs> I have no idea. So, okay. Uh, let's see here. So we have the breakout room, the bedroom. This Okay. So let's go ahead and let's just throw a couple things up here. Um, you need toasted reward is space junk. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to get a van loaded and ready for toasted. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's do that real quick. Um, that one's going somewhere. Let's see. You're not going anywhere. However, I only want you to have toasted. So I'm going to deselect that. I wonder, does that open up the trunk to get it to go somewhere? No. Okay. So, because this guy already has... Yeah, that guy already has stuff in him. So let's go ahead and just send that car to like here. And then let's see. We need to get a truck that's on the way back that's going to be emptied. Uh, this truck right here, the chicken truck. Yeah, that one's going to be emptied. And that one also takes forever to fill up. So we'll go ahead and we'll utilize that truck for this for this occasion. And then we'll go ahead and get a, a car as well going. Actually, you know what? What am I even doing? What am I even doing right now? Forget that. We've got we've got garages. All right. So let's get a truck and a car. And then we'll just select these. Yeah, this is easy enough. Uh oh, um, is it this one? Shoot, I can't, I can't see it though. Uh, uh oh. <gasps> oh, what's going on? Oh, those are my guys. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, very bad, very bad. Uh, don't go that way. Oh no, those are my people. They went out there. They got shot. Oh no, don't do it. Turn around. Run away with your lives. Oh man. Oh, okay. All right. You know what? We're going to go ahead and reject that for now. Um, <laughs> let's, we need to focus on it. Yeah, we don't, we don't need that to happen again. Okay. Let's focus on this. Let's get this stuff done here. So, um, let's see. Actually, you know what? If I go through and just remove these rooms. So if we go into build, we go into grow room here and I just go to like, uh, these, that's going to remove all of that stuff. Okay. So then I don't have to purchase it all again. Oh my gosh, this area is massive. Like, I don't know if people realize how big this area is. Like, that is a huge room. <laughs> it's gigantic. Oh my gosh, we could literally have a library on one side. And oh my gosh, that's so funny. Have an arcade over there. Let's see, let's have a, you know, a couple soda machines in there. Pool table will fit in no problemo here. Trash can. And then let's see, we have a, a bigger couch. Maybe just hanging out over here. <laughs> this is amazing. I love that. And we can, always, we can always add more to it. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get the kitchen going too. So let's see, that's our front door right there. So let's do, um, so let's go ahead and let's do this. Let's do a refrigerator there, refrigerator there. And let's do a stove and a stove. And then we'll put a sink and a sink. And then we'll do a trash bin right in the middle. 
I don't think they're going to line up to use the trash bin. So then we'll go ahead and put these there. We'll grab our cutting boards for each one of those. And then we also want something for have a little coffee station and maybe a microwave. So let's see coffee. I, this is, this is looking fantastic. I love this already. I've never gotten to like the point where this point before. So this is a super exciting. So coffee, coffee, we've got refrigerators, we've got sinks. We've got, uh, let's go ahead and get some coffee machines. Let's get some soda machines and then basically tables after that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Such a beautiful room. All right. And then let's see staff toilet. How's our money? Oh, our money is fantastic right now. Okay. So staff toilets, we're just going to put a wall of toilets in here. There's a wall of toilets. Look at that. Oh, it's fantastic. And let's get some showers in here. We don't want no, we don't want no dirty boys in here. All right. So we got, we got plenty of showers, um, some sinks and then a couple hand dryers. Perfect. Look at that. What a beautiful room. Absolutely gorgeous. All right. And then let's get some beds in here. So these beds, I guess we're just going to go ahead and go for like a sheer number of them. Actually, you know what? That'll probably work. And then we can actually put in some bookcases in here too. And then that looks good. Okay. So all of that looks good. That's, that's all of our, that's actually all of our stuff right there connected. It looks, it looks fantastic. Um, the only thing, the only question I'm having, a, the only question I'm having right now is about these storerooms. Cause like I was making these all storerooms, right? Huh? Not sure how I really want to do that to be completely honest. I think we need to go ahead. I think we need to like delete a lot of stuff and basically just get in here and kind of like redo. I think we need to redo everything to be completely honest. I think we need to redo it all. Yeah, let's let's just let's just go into here and let's go into or let's go into build grow room and let's get basically this whole plot a grow room. Okay, so that looks good. And then basically this whole area becomes a storeroom. And then this is all corridor. Okay, see, now we're getting somewhere. And then basically, let's go ahead and just base, remove all of these. Okay, so that's looking a little bit better here. I'm trying to decide, do we want to go all the way to the road here? And if we are going to have a road here, are we going to have a road here? Or are we going to bring this building all the way up and around? Hmm. Could have a, like a little garden area. You know what? I might actually leave that. What we might actually do, because this is actually a separate plot. What I might actually do is we might leave this. We might put um, a wall right here. And then actually put up like an outside area for our uh, our employees. So that way they can go outside and breathe some fresh air every now and then, you know? Maybe we'll have like a little park. Like a park here and a park here. Maybe? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Okay, so this is all looking good-ish. I got to go through and like take all this stuff out though. Okay, I think... Oh, no. Some more lights here. Okay, is that absolutely everything? I feel like that's absolutely everything. Is this excessive for the store <laughs> storage room? I feel like it might be a little excessive because what I'm thinking, like I said, is we're going to have, this is what we're going to have all of our grow room stuff. So we're going to have these three items and then we're going to have probably up in this corner, our, um, lab, maybe like right in here. And then maybe down in here will be the final thing. And then up in here, I have no idea, but, um, let's go ahead and take these out. We also need to make a way. We actually have to make a way for, um, actually let's demolish. Actually let's demolish all of this and this. Okay. Cause we're going to end up putting garages up there and actually, oh yeah, we have to have this one. Actually, hold on a second. Do we have to have that one? If I move this garage, oh shoot. I can't move it until the car gets back. I was actually wondering if I just move this over here, I should be able to just build a wall. Oh no, I can't, I can't build a wall right there. Never mind. That won't work. So we, we do have to have a, um, our corridor does actually have to extend it actually only has to extend right there realistically, but we'll just go ahead and do that. That way it looks better if you will. Okay. So that that's looking pretty good. That's a massive grow room. That's a huge one. Oh, she's a big one. <laughs> All right. So I guess we're going to leave these connected like this. Um, I'm still trying to decide if we want to do this. Should I keep these as storerooms? Maybe. Maybe we'll keep these as storerooms. We'll just throw doors on them. And we'll just have storage in there in case, like, you know, stuff start getting, starts getting full. Um, 
Yeah, we'll do that. That'll be fine. Because actually, what will happen is this area will be grow, uh, maybe be making stuff as well. So what we'll probably do is we'll probably go. They'll probably go ahead and run it down into whatever one of these, or maybe one of these. I guess if we connected this, you know what? Maybe we will. We might actually end up connecting this whole side right here. Maybe we'll see. Okay. So now what I need to do is I need to go through. We got to get our. Uh, we need to get our original stuff set up here. Oh, we could have so much. We could have such a huge farm right now. Like we could have the largest, largest herb farm ever. Um, all right. So let's get into this and let's start making stuff here. Okay. So, uh, let's go ahead. Let's get some doors in here. First of all, should I put reinforced doors everywhere instead of regular wooden doors? Nah, I think we're okay. I can always go back through and change them later. So basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go, let's see here, trying to visualize how, how far apart I should put these doors. Okay. So we'll put doors like that. Actually that kind of, wait a second. Can I put double doors in here? Oh my gosh. <laughs> let's go. That's so cool. That's so cool. Put a double door right there. Okay. Um, all right. And then let's get back to our grow room here. So we're going to need the final thing is the cutting, right? Yeah. So we need to get some cutters here. Those are going to go, I think, right in this area. So we'll put, um, oh, we have to keep in mind, though, the items that we're making. Okay, so we'll put those there. And we'll put those there. And we'll put these there. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll do regular, toasty, Amazonian. So we'll break this down into three, basically three sectors, if you will. Um, so let's see. Let's go ahead and let's get the regular. Now, oh, actually, we're going to need, hold on. What was the, let's get the water overlay in here again, because I, I always forget this part. Let's get our AOE emitters, and let's get our large sprinkler. And what does that do? That covers that area. Okay, so basically, I could run there and there. I don't really want to run that there, though. Yeah, we'll start right here and right there. So we'll remove those two. So that's kind of what we'll do here. And then let's see. Every other one is probably a good spot. So something like that. And then we're going to make this way bigger than we even need to. But you know what? I really, I really don't even care. I think it's going to be fantastic now. All right. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and put in. I wish you could kind of click and hold. Okay. So that. <laughs> that is so many grow bags. What are we even going to do with that? <laughs> this is so overkill. I don't even care. I love it. I love it. All right. And then we're going to need dryers for all of these. So this is what we're going to do for dryers. We're going to throw dryer there, dryer there, dryer there, there. We'll throw one there. I think, I don't think we're ever going to be able to keep up with this, but you know what? I don't even care. So we need to get these up to temp or lighting. So let's go ahead and let's grab our lights. And basically all we need is these bright ones. Uh, oh, that doesn't get the last one right there. Hmm. Okay, so now, well, I want to keep everything symmetrical. You know what I mean? Okay, so now let's see. We're having some lighting issues there. So what if I put this here? Okay, if I put that there, that works. And then same thing here. Okay, it's hard to keep track of all of these if they're all three star or not. Okay, those are all three star. And then these are all three star and these are all three star. Okay, so this whole, this whole section is done and good to go. So that whole section's done. That's good. That is our regular stuff. So now what I can do is I can basically go through here and only allow the certain things. All right. That looks good. It's all three starred. So now we can do the same thing with the toasty. Am I going to do this much toasty stuff? Probably not. I don't feel like that's a good idea. Well, Ooh, if I do, that's going to be expensive. I mean, I guess we could, we could actually basically copy this. I wish there was a way to actually like copy and paste or something. Well, no, I don't because then it, it, yeah, it really wouldn't work. So, um, basically repeat the whole thing over and over again. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is going to be wild. All right. So I got the toasty set up. Uh, yeah, that hit our funds hard. That, that brought us down to 23. So that took about 25,000, uh, to basically get this set up. So this is all tier three toasty. So a tier, we have tier three, regular tier three toasty. And what I'm thinking is maybe we should go ahead and just start distributing back to our uh, laundromats to go ahead and get some income going while we're doing this. So what I want to do is I actually want to go ahead and get the storm going. So we're going to use the rest of our 
essentially the rest of our money <laughs> to get the storeroom going. So the first thing that they're going to do in here is package. And I think six packages is going to be funny. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and do, we'll do the same thing over here. One, two, three, one, two, three. All right, that works. And then what I'm going to do is, uh, I don't know. You know what? We're going to go with pallets. Pallets can hold so much more. So one, two, three, one, two, three. And then where are we going to put our doors at? So we need doors here. So we need a door there. Uh, we'll put a door there and we'll put a door here. And then we need to go ahead and get more storage in here as well. So basically storeroom and then pallets. All right. So that's going to do that. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to have this set up to uh, only do a certain amount of, well, we're only going to have it do like the specific items. So what we're going to do is these are, well, hold on. These are only going to do toasty because they're next to the toasty. I really wish there was a, a way to copy and paste this. Is there a way to deselect all? I thought there was, but you know what? I don't, I don't know. Uh, basically, we're going to have it so that this side only does toasty. This side only does regular. That way we can keep things nice and organized. Oh my gosh, clicking those pallets, each and every one, is, is the worst thing ever. <laughs> it's torture. Uh, okay, so these are all good. Everything's good here. We only have eight grand left. So now we need to start sending stuff out. So let's go ahead and let's do this. Um, What we need to do is we need to have a way into our building here, which is kind of unfortunate because I don't have enough money to really do anything exciting with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to just hope for the best. And hope that we don't get raided because we're not doing anything. Um, we're not doing anything. So what I believe happens, what everybody else is telling me is happening, is when you do the monument stuff, that is what actually causes the raids. So uh, we're going to not do any monument stuff and we're going to hope for the best. So let's see. Um, oh, you know what I just realized? Employees wise, I have 13 workers. I have three engineers, two cleaners, zero guards. Okay, so everything should be good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get these guys working in this again, because we don't have, we don't have this lab set up and we need to get some more money flowing in here <laughs> really, really badly. All right. So that looks good. Um, uh, that looks good. All rooms, all rooms, everything. Everybody should be on all rooms again. Okay. Yeah. We can have them everywhere. Okay. And let's go. Oh my gosh look at everything getting watered it's so mesmerizing like it's like dancing water fountains just sit here and watch this all day <laughs> it's so cool you guys are, these guys are like wait what do we have to do oh just give it a second all the plants will be ready at the same time and they'll they'll literally never be able to keep up with the plants i already know that like i, I know that 100 percent. but there will always be a plant ready to be harvested so i guess there's that you know and we have as much automated as we can so it should okay here we go we got toasty we got every everything's coming up at the same time everybody's gonna lose it they're like oh no things to do maybe oh he grabbed that oh there it is oh my gosh it loads in oh my gosh okay here comes everybody which how do you know how do they decide which one to grab they grab all the stuff on the ends okay Wow. All right. I like, uh oh, <laughs> we got a couple of dead bodies here. <laughs> Just hanging out. Um, oh, that's right. Everybody's on their way to the, the break rooms and stuff. So they are going to take longer to get back and forth from break rooms and stuff like that, which I completely understand. I don't care. That's fine. It is what it is. We'll just have more workers to make up for it. And we'll all get, we'll also give them the 50% um, increased movement speed boots because that's good. And I'm going to go ahead and speed up time because that's what we always do. I basically run this game at three times speed all the time unless we're doing something else just because it, it it makes it easier to kind of see like what's going on and what's taking longer than other stuff because yeah anyways it does so everything should be good you know what honestly we had so much product at our laundromats already we probably didn't even need to get this up and running right away <laughs> i mean just like that we're back up to twenty six thousand. so i need to get the amazonian we need to get amazonian built and then uh once the amazonian is built so this is it. This is this is it for the herb farm. This is that's all I'm doing. Once the Amazonian is built, this is it. I'm never messing with this again. We're never touching this again. This is done. 
forever never getting done again so um yeah that's gonna be that's gonna be really nice but then what i need to figure out is like i said we need to figure out the next lab oh i don't have any right now i'm sorry i'm so sorry all right we're already at thirty-five thousand. okay so i am a little bit worried about getting attacked again and I feel like maybe I should go ahead and purchase these plots of land right here. So that way we can go ahead and make our area so that way we can protect it. Let's go ahead and let's do, let's do that. Um, let's go to subplots. I want this one. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. I want that one and I want that one. Oh, it's 20,000. Okay. So we're gonna have to wait. So basically I want these two and I'm going to put walls here and here. And then they're gonna have to like snake through in order to get to here and it's just gonna be you know it's just gonna be death <laughs> it's lots of it lots of lots of death and decay and just badness for for all of them oh i just realized that the cleaners are gonna have a lot to keep clean now like holy moly are they gonna have a lot to clean i probably should look into some cleaning clothing for them um cleaning clothing <laughs> Like little maid outfits or something. <laughs> I bet you there is. Hold on a second. Is there? Tell me. There's. Is there? There's not. No way. Mm, slows hygiene rejection. Stop projects from becoming contaminated. Um. Let's see. Spacesuit. Uh. Those are okay. I actually. Ninety percent. I actually don't see. I mean, boots prevent floors from becoming dirty. Um. But honestly, the 50% increase in speed boost is, I think, worth way more than that. So, all right. Let's go ahead and wait for the morning so we start making money again. Then we'll go ahead and purchase this plot here and then start getting it outfitted for, with defenses. Okay, so it is morning time. We're starting to make money again, so we should be good to go ahead and buy our last spot there. And then what we can do is we can go ahead and go into landscaping. Let's get our uh, walls to start with here. So we're going to go straight against basically like this, just like that. And then we'll go ahead and do a, um, we'll do a little wall thing right there. Oh, I got to change. I got to get rid of the road. So apparently some of the walls that I had were damaged because <laughs> I was like, why are these laying down? I don't even understand this. Um, yeah, I guess if they're damaged, they lay down. So, uh, we'll have to get those out there and get fixed. And then we can go ahead and grab these and basically hook those up like that and there we go all right so that's gonna work oh hold on let's grab our build let's grab a corridor build boop, and a boop okay so that looks good again we could just do we could just do corridors all the way out here like that and just you know make it invul invulnerable but i feel like the defensive walls will work and if you know if they don't work then we know what to do <laughs> uh all right so Actually, you know what? I wonder if I put a corridor here and I put double defensive doors and man, yeah, never mind. We're not going to do that. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's look at our defenses again. So we've got our shotguns, our shotties. All right. So we need to figure out a way. How are we going to do this? You know what I say? I say, let them walk straight down the middle. You know what I mean? Like, what if we just let them, what if we just line this whole thing? with these <laughs> let them walk down the middle let them go for it see what happens uh you guys have red boots on okay good oh my gosh i was a little bit worried there for a second i didn't need you guys getting shot you know let's throw landscaping in here let's start let's do this let's make it so that way they just can't go straight in here you know what i mean and then let's go ahead and make sure that we've got i mean we have more of these so there's those I don't think they'll survive this to be completely honest though. I really, I really don't. Um, let me go ahead and throw these walls like this. All right. So I think that'll work unless, you know what? Maybe I should do this. Hold on. If we go to demolish, let me, let me actually, let's pop these out of here. Let's build corridor there and there. All right. So that way. Yeah, there that way there's no there's no chance. They have to go through right here and like they're not going to survive. I don't think they're going to survive that at all. <laughs> I don't think there's any way they're going to survive. Oh, hold on a second. And then you know what? Actually, more landscaping. Let's get some more landscaping in here cuz we can't have enough landscaping. Uh let's go ahead and get these. Let's make sure that they uh they have to go through this area right here. There. Oh, this wasn't exactly even, was it? Oh no, it wasn't. That's okay though. 
So yeah, they have to go through here and then hold on. We got to do we, gotta, we have to have to cut grass. So that way it looks nice. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, so when they walk in here, bam, 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 bam. Yeah, they're going to be gone. I don't think they're going to survive that. Okay, so now that that's taken care of, I have money. Oh my gosh, I'm actually starting to get a little bit lag here. Um, that's what I was a little bit worried about was by having so many of these things. Because I'm about to add a whole another third one right here of the Amazonian. So we can have Amazonian going. Holy moly, that's a lot. I'm actually a little bit worried about lag. I wonder if there's, let me see if there's any settings to maybe get rid of so many particle effects. Okay, I don't see, <laughs> I don't see anything. Actually, if I get rid of, maybe if I get rid of that, that might help. Yeah, that actually helped a little bit. Get rid of all the little uh, the little emblems everywhere. That actually helped a, a, a decent amount. Okay, so let's see. So Amazonian is the last thing we got, and it's literally going to go right here. All right. Well, time to drop another probably even more now because, let's see, if I go to build and I go to here, these are 60 apiece. These are 140, and these are, I don't even know what these are right now. Oh, this is going to be so expensive. This is going to be so expensive. All right, so we're going to do that. I like to outline it first and then we're going to copy. Let's see. So it should be this one. Okay. And these are how much piece? Oh my God. These are 320. This is the most expensive part right here is these grow beds, but I have to put the grow beds in. Otherwise I can't see. And I can't, otherwise I won't be able to make sure that I have, don't have like the, the full grow three star grow status. You know what I mean? Oh my gosh. That's already, we're already at 27,000 now. <laughs> Oh my gosh, 23,000. Okay, so now, oh, let's get our water airs the lights. And then we're also going to have to do, what, heaters and humidifiers, I think? <laughs> like, everything is going to be wild. So, also, something I didn't realize, the lights can actually go over the top of the sprinklers, which is really cool. Um, So, I don't know if they can go over everything, but they can definitely go over the top of the sprinklers, which is super nice. Uh, okay, so now I actually need my product value here. All right, so what are we missing? Um, oh, the light is too strong. Okay, so we're going to have to fix that. So we have to get heaters and then humidity. So let's throw the heaters in first. Because I think heaters are going to be the easiest. Let's see, I did heaters down here. And I just did those right behind the sprinklers, essentially. Which, uh, yeah, it's super smart to have heaters right behind a sprinkler. <laughs> of course it is. All right, and then we need humidity. So let's go ahead and let's get our humidifiers going in here. Where is a hu large humidifier? So I'm going to go ahead and place that, I guess. I'm going to place that. Oh, shoot. I'll place that like that. We're going to see how this happens. Now, i got to figure out the lighting here. Okay, so I dropped all of the overhead lights down to 70. Now, that actually took care of most of them. The We have a couple problem children. We have... Well, actually, that's temperature. That's wait. How is this one temperature and this one's light? No, that one's good. Oh no, it is lighting. Okay, okay. I yes. Yeah, so the light is still too strong here. But if I take it in below seventy, I start getting rid of these. So I guess I could just get rid of those. Cause so I well no, that one says actual is the heat. Ideal 50 to 70, and then the heat is actually the issue on this one. The light's the issue on that one. How is that? I don't even understand. I don't understand. I don't understand it. Light's the issue on that. No, heat. Yeah, light and heat is the issue on this one, too. Huh. You know what? I am. I'm just going to go ahead, and I don't care that they don't look the same. I'm going to go ahead and remove these. And I'm going to go ahead and just... I'm going to go ahead and remove the ones that are not three-starred already. Actually, you know what? For the sake of... For the sake of everything looking the same, we're going to do that. And then I think there's two in the middle right here. There's one here and one here. All right. Everything else is three starred. And then what we need to do, actually, what this might allow us to do, this might actually allow us to place the um, the drying racks. Yeah, see, that'll be three star. Oh, but it's not going to look the same, is it? You know what, though? I don't really care. It'll be fine. So that'll be three star there, there. Oh, it's only two star right there. We'll have to figure that out. And then we also have to get these up to three star as well. So let's see here. What are you missing? Um, temperature. That's an easy one. And then we need to get these guys solved. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's move those like that. We're going to move like that. And then what do we need here? We need heat and humidity. So heater and humidifier. That didn't even work. 
Wow. What if we do this and that? How is this one not getting enough heat still? Okay. There. And we'll do the same thing. We'll do this one there. And we'll grab another one right there. And then we got to do the same thing. So we need humidifier, heater, heater. Okay. So that gives us three stars on all. Oh, wait. Hold on. We didn't do this one. We didn't do these uh, drying ones over here. All right. And then that's three star. Everything is three star. Perfect. Okay. So now Amazonians Guild. Let's go ahead and get these all selected. So that way they're not doing the wrong stuff. All right, so that all looks wonderful. Now we need to go ahead and get the packagers out here. Oh, jeez. How much are these? Oh, I can get one. <laughs> um, that's fine. Let's let the game run. We'll get some more money that way. All right, so there's all of our three-star stuff. Oh, good. It's looking magnificent, actually. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of the... Um, let's get rid of our overlays here. Makes things runs a little bit... <laughs> little bit better like a very tiny bit better um i think if we got rid of maybe maybe if there was the option to get rid of so many particle effects so like these little windy particle effects and the water particle effects like I, they look really nice uh, but if there was a way to maybe um have like a setting that just, you know like allowed us to say hey we only want a quarter or like an eighth as many particle effects just to see that it's still running you know like one every now and then would be would be fine what the, why are we not selling anything it is, oh, it's four in the morning. I thought it was four in the afternoon. Oh, I'm a dummy. Oh, okay. We have a little bit of money. That's good because we need some storage for our Amazon, uh, Amazonian uh, product. Actually, let's get another boxer in here and then let's get some pallets. You know what? Let's just, let's just stick with those for now. Also, I don't, I don't want to go through and click all these things a hundred times. I don't know why. I wish there was just a D, a D select all button on these. I thought there was, but it's only on, it's only on other things. It's like on the trucks and stuff like that. It's not on the, the storage, which is kind of unfortunate. All right. So there's those, you know what? We should, should we just get the other boxers in there now before I forget about it? Cause if I, if I, I, I might forget. All right. Everything's looking actually really fantastic. However, I think our engineers are getting a little overworked here because I'm starting to see some, I'm starting to see some durabilities on some stuff. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and hire another engineer. All right, so that'll give us another engineer. I actually want, I want to see how he enters the building. How are you going to make it in here? Wait, what? Oh, snap. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad that we caught that. <laughs> oh man, that would have been bad. Oh, that would have been so bad. Okay. So what we're going to do here, um, let's see. I want to, I want to like, a. I want like a, a, a slew of different things. You know what I mean? Um, so we have trucks, we have cars. Let's get some pickups. Oh my gosh. I can't even, I can't even believe that. That's so funny. Uh, then we'll get our corridor. Let's go ahead and build. We'll expand our corridor out to there. Oh my gosh. I was, I was like, wait, where are you going? And yep. He showed, he showed me my errors, the errors of my ways for sure. Okay. So hopefully everything gets fixed. Now. Everything should get fixed. You know what? Actually, hold on a second. There's, there's a repair speed thing too. If I'm not mistaken, if we go to our employees, let's actually take a peek here. New inventory, um, fire. Isn't there one for, oh yeah, plus 20% maintenance speed. That's actually probably pretty good. Oh, we should probably actually get them fire resistance too. Perfect, okay. So our engineers are engineers and firefighters. And they have 20% uh, maintenance speed now too. So that should work, that should cover this area. This is an insane area. <laughs> Now, if I was going to go for full efficiency, I want to I want to mention this now because I bet you people are going to comment it eventually. If I wanted to go for full efficiency, what I would do is I'd essentially make each building their own ecosystem um, and I wouldn't have everything connected. So basically what I would do is I would have this building right here and then in this building, I would go ahead and make a, um, you know, a break room, a bathroom, a kitchen and a bedroom or whatever. And then this whole area would these people would only stay in this area. They'd go to these break rooms and go to the, the work this area, you know, load these vehicles. And then same with, you know, every other, every other area. But I think it's kind of, I think it's gonna be more fun to have one more, like one giant mega factory than to, uh, to have them like, like all individual buildings, you know? So I don't know, just my, my opinion, but leave a comment. Let me know what you think down below. Um, everything is looking really good. They're not even remotely keeping up with the plants, which I knew that I knew they wouldn't. And we're never going to have a backlog. <laughs> we're never going to have a backlog of sort stuff. Um, you know, actually, I'm actually curious. I wonder how many people we can have max. So 
I guess if we bought all of these. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see how it goes. But um, let's get into this episode. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, all the fun things. Next episode, we've got to get our um, our other stuff set back up. So, like I said, I think it's gonna go up in here, up in here. Uh, I think it's gonna go right up in here somewhere. We got. We also have to make sure that we have enough money to. Oh shoot! I'm gonna have to have a lot of money um, because these are becoming twenty thousand to pop. <gasps> oh yeah we're gonna have to have a, like a lot of money here so basically so if they stay they're not and they're not gonna stay at twenty thousand. they're every every time they go up 500 so uh i needed to buy ideally i want to buy one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i want to buy ten i need probably what close to three hundred thousand monies in order to make that happen and that's just to buy the land so basically i want to buy this whole this whole corner right here um and then make this a park in the middle and then make the factory here or maybe you know what i don't know maybe we'll make the maybe we'll make the factory right here because it is connected to a storeroom directly so then we could just have the doors here they could do their thing make it go this way boom into the storeroom and then they'd be good so i don't know i mean i guess they could go through the hallway though too it really doesn't matter i don't know we'll figure it out but that's gonna be the next episode thank you so much for coming out hopefully you have a wonderful time i'll see you in the next one bye everybody